Welcome to Beyond the Press Release, a production of Gorecom, in which we take the time to speak with small cap executives after they put out big news. Guys, if you believe in the future of the lithium space, the lithium specter, and what it's going to mean to electric vehicles, a clean energy revolution, you know how big of a market that is. But what a lot of you don't know is that the lithium space, and specifically lithium extraction companies, have a water issue uh, and how they treat that water, how they recover that water. And it's a major part of the process uh, in extracting lithium. That's why the global water and wastewater treatment market is projected to be uh, over $500 billion by 2030. So enter Forward Water Technologies, a company that was founded by the Green Center, by Green Center of Canada, a leading tech innovation center supported by the government of Canada. And they're commercializing what they call their proprietary Ford osmosis technology. It's not for you and me at home. It's not for a refrigerator. It's not for our taps. It allows industrial users to reduce their water consumption by up to 90%. And that has massive immediate impact, saving water from being permanently destroyed, large reduction in operating expenses, so on and so forth. Ford Water Technologies has had, since the last time we spoke, over 30 NDAs signed with major lithium extraction companies to test out, take a look at, analyze their great technology. And here's the big news, Forward Water Tech and a leading lithium resource developer, we don't know the name of the company yet, signed an agreement. Howie, welcome back. Congratulations, man. Thank you very much, George. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, great lead in. Appreciate it. You and I have been talking, I mean, we're going to get details in a second, but you and I have been talking about this day coming for a while now. You've been fairly confident about it, but you're really process oriented. You're yeah. never on here trying to you know, tell us about a quick sales coming on. You really, and, and it looks like you've gone through the process. How does it feel big picture first? How does it feel for you and the company to announce this agreement? Oh, it's, it's, it's liberating Georgia. Like, you know, in, in 2015, this was, this was stuff that was in a fume hood with some of our, our partners. We took the, we spun the company out we built the basis, we eliminated the engineering risk, we walked all the way through it. So we're finally at the stage where we can hit commercialization. And, and that's what we've been pushing on for the last uh, 12 months or more and yeah. building client relationships. Because you really have to go to these clients with equipment that's ready to go or processes that are ready to put in place. It can't be speculative, can't be hand-waving because we're selling to the engineering community. And we, completed that. We built some equipment from our RTO on speculation, knowing we would need to put it in the field. We've worked with one of these companies, many of these companies, but one in particular uh, advanced down the road, and they, they have intertwined two absolutely key concepts in their business. That is a sustainable process for capturing and harvesting lithium from aquifers. And secondly, they have to do it in an economically viable way. And our process helps them meet that goal. And because let's, of that, let's explain that in layman's yeah. terms first before we get too far ahead, because it, it's, it's sustainable aquifer based lithium. Explain that just in layman's terms to all of us at home, what that, you know, what that is and how you make that all possible. So a lot of the projected supply of lithium is expected to come from underground aquifers, water that is naturally stored underneath the ground has been there for hundreds of years. And it's, a, it's water that's absorbed a lot of mineral content, uh, all sorts of different salts and metals and complex ions and stuff. Right. One of those ions, one of those materials in that water is lithium. And that lithium supply is expected to, to help or, or, or most address the supply gap between the demand for lithium and the supply. But you've got to get that lithium out of there and you've got to do it in a way that is economically viable. I mean, that's pretty clear. But... In addition to that, in the last five years or so, the need to preserve the water resource in the jurisdictions Dude. you're taking it from is absolutely critical to the local communities and the local governments. And you simply can't get permits to operate in some of these places to harvest the lithium without having a good plan of being able to return the water back to that community or reuse it so you don't take other municipal supplies, right? So what's really, really fundamentally changed- Yeah, as important as lithium is, sorry, how we can't do it at the expense of, by the way, this town no longer has the water or thought it had in, in reserve anymore. You can't, you can't you, sacrifice you, you, you one, you, you one you green for another green. 
Yeah, it's as important as doing it on a profitable basis. You have to be able to sustainably get the lithium as well as do it in a, in a, in a commercially viable way from a financial standpoint. And you have to bring those two points to bear to have a successful business at this point. At least that's what we're discovering uh, in, in, in a lot of communication with all sorts of groups that we're, we're in touch with. And this one company said, we're going to do it. We're going to do it sustainably. We're going to reuse the water as much as possible. We want to bring in technologies that are going to enable us to do that. And we've worked with them to demonstrate how our technology will help them reach and achieve those goals. And um, they're moving to the next step with us. So, And what's important is this isn't George Calm Lithium, some little lithium guy, you know, part-time little scrappy company in the headline you say a lithium a leading sorry, a leading lithium resources developer now yeah. you haven't named the company for a no. lot of different reasons that's fine but can you give us an idea of the you know the scope of the company you know anything you can tell us about the magnitude of the company without giving away obviously yeah, I, too much I, detail. I can give you a, a little bit of insight so so they're they're a, a notably funded lithium company. Wow. They're not a mining company. They're focused on lithium. Uh, they've got access to a significant resource um, at this point, and they have intentions of being able to produce lithium in a very short uh, time frame uh, at this point. So <clears throat> they, they, I mean, it's, it's always tough, right? These these companies have a lot of things going on, and so they, we need to be very mindful of their. Of but but it is um, it is it is one of the players in the in the in the developing lithium aquifer space. Will we ever will they, we ever find out the name of the company? However, you think at some yeah, point I, maybe I, go definitive or down the road, or you think it might always be uh, no for, so, for a number of reasons confidential. You know, clearly that's up to their control. But um, based on their previous history and decisions that they've already made. And the associated public announcements they have made, we'll we'll likely um, be able to promote our partnership uh, once once we get it uh, completely formalized. Um, so yeah, the answer is eventually yes. That that'll come out for sure. Oh, that'll be great. That'll, yeah. that'll be great. We'll yeah. love to pull. What's the value proposition? So obviously, look, they're leading lithium resource company. You had your mobile demonstration unit. That's the one that they're interested in. Um, what it's a combination of things obviously it's roi it's how much you can help them achieve their cost but you know what's the real value proposition that you brought and how important of an element do you think forward water is going to be to this company's you know aquifer based lithium uh recovery yeah so so what we like to talk about is is um minimum economic delivery of lithium carbonate right meaning meaning what's the cheapest way to get the lithium and without sacrificing the environmental standards right. that have been set right and so so when you compare our technology that can that, that that is highly efficient as a standalone relies on thermal resources as opposed to electrical resources and where those some of those thermal resources can be offloaded to solar thermal processes we have a really attractive energy and subsequently cost input but that energy input because it's so low also has a co2 impact and finally, the output from our process is a lithium concentrate and a whole lot of clean water that can be put back into operations, reused over and over again. You know, one of the things we like to look at, water shouldn't be consumed, looked at as a once through product or once through waste disposal um, um, uh, material. It needs to be looked at as infrastructure and it needs to be looked at as something that you use over and over and over again, right? And so we bring that mentality as well as the low cost uh, process as well as this low CO2 footprint uh, approach. Um, and those things just sew up the, the, the need or the gap that this company, and we believe other companies, have in being able to isolate the lithium on a good economic basis, while at the same time being very conscious of the environment around you. I like I mentioned other companies there. What does this do, Howie, for you? Because we, we've talked about this before, you've had over 30 NDA signed with some major traction. Yeah. But like any, any new technology, I remember when I started Agoracom, People like online marketing, shareholder investor relations. I don't know. I'm just going to go to, I'm going to do it traditionally through paper and mail and so on. It takes time. But once you get your first one or two referenceable accounts, it seems like the floodgates potentially open. That's for every new product. On the planet. Yeah. We, we what feel do you pretty, think this does for you and your pipeline? We feel pretty strongly that there's a lot of people on the, uh, on the sidelines. And we think 
you know, we've got an exceptional relationship with this with this particular company. Um, there's a lot of cases where the process itself won't be competitive to what they're doing. Um, just different. Um, one of the one of the things that we will work out in the agreement is can how can we you know port the the technical information out of this demonstration plan so we can use it to further our own sales. Right. There has to be some discussion there and and and, and mindful of certain conditions and boundaries, but. I think what that's going to allow us to do is say we've got a we've got a reference um, piece of equipment out in the field operating. We've got data coming off of it that we can share with incoming clients on on a on a on a reasonable confidentiality basis. And I think what that's going to do is all of the relationships that we've pulled in the other twenty nine NDAs are going to pull those uh, decision makers closer to us Absolutely. and say, "Hey, you know what? It works. Let's go." Um, uh, and I think, I think that's, I think that's going to change, change the nature of our business dramatically, uh, in the future. And, you know, this is just the lithium sector. All that data is still portable to the food and beverage waste. Industry. Yeah. We're not even talking about waste the industry. other sectors. We're talking just so, lithium right now because it's the big thing, right? But right. So, you know, we, we, we took advantage of the, the, the hunger in the lithium space to bring it to a commercial, uh, opportunity. But th this is this is back reportable to all of the other sectors because at the end of the day, we're just treating brines. Brines are the same chemically that you see in food and beverage processing, you see in, in industrial manufacturing, you see in, in other industries, and we'll be able to port the data and say, look, it works, right? And by the way, you know, here's how you integrate solar thermal and, and make it even better. And, and we'll have that uh, proof of concept, right? Is more than proof of concept. Love it proven on the ground in an operating environment. Um, yeah, so I, and, I think- And this isn't just a nice to have, I wanna be able to show it on my brochure. It's not just an ROI thing. It's a global macro almost demand now because you and I have talked about for over 40% of the global population right now is under uh, critical water stress. Yeah, uh, And you and I have seen resource companies in Serbia, in Chile, right, uh, yep. that have actually had their operations stopped by the government because they're saying you can't do it in a way that's also sustainable. So this is almost, it's not a nice, it's not a nice, it's not a nice feature. It's it's almost becoming a must have now in this it, green it, world. It is, you have to, you have to do both. It, it, that's, that's, it's not a first priority and it's not a second priority. It is both must be uh, accomplished. That is environmental um, uh, standards have to be met. Um, at the same time, you have to have a price point of production that is going to allow you long-term commercialization, right? So you can't, it used to be one or the other. That's not the game anymore. And, no. and I, you know, no. to be perfectly honest, we're really proud to be part of that solution, right? Um, that's the I'm way proud to be part of this because yeah. I'm, I'm proud to be part of this because what you've been building, watch you build it, take your time, get it to the, build the demo unit, get it to the field, get the results back. I mean, I just love how we how you move this along and that says a lot about your pedigree right because this is your third oh. early stage company yeah. uh you know you've had what you've got you've had over developed over 50 patents so this this doesn't come as a surprise to me but a lot of people are just discovering you for the first time this this is a really exciting opportunity right so you, you, yeah past history is no prediction of, of future performance However, uh, it's really exciting to be on the front end of front edge of the wave this time, right? Um, without going into my other opportunities, this is something we feel is new. There's a new sector emerging. The demand is swelling and growing, uh, so it's crazy. And and you know the front edge of the wave is an exciting place to be. You're moving faster. You're you're covering new ground. There's tons of turmoil, right? You're tumbling through, but it's way better than just quietly paddling on the back end of the wave right yeah. so it's just an exciting it's just an exciting well, you game. served your time like any good surfer you know you've got to <laughs> wait you've got to wait for the right wave you can't just force it to happen and you got to be ready to hit it and that's what you've done i mean yeah, you've waited I think, patiently you've waited yeah. for it to come in you you've we waited, developed the waited. technology we scaled the technology we eliminated engineering risk we did a better job of understanding it at scale which turned out to be very beneficial um and, and, and now we can confidently commercial and deliver equipment. And we built some equipment from our RTO using our funds on speculation that somebody would need it placed on their site. And I think that's turned out to be a, a, a smart decision 
because yeah, one of the things totally. that tipped over the balance is our equipment is built and ready to go. And that shortens the timeline to site operations and time to production is critical to the lithium industry right now. And you know, there's oh, been yeah, other they're, they're about to come under massive demand, yeah. right? The whole world wants their there, there, there's there's a clock that they're on. Yep. Yep. Oh, it's tightened the whole demand for water treatment equipment across the globe because of the demand, right? Um uh, and 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 we're we were in a position to deliver equipment uh, that would meet the needs, both the environmental and the financial, as you suggested, production costs. But it was available and could go out the door. And so we think, you know, as we reach towards a definitive agreement for this equipment, that's that time factor is going to be driving some of it. So, so we're hopeful. We're hopeful in you know, as I said, lots of turmoil going on. But our target is end of September. I know early October to get that definitive agreement lined out, uh, outlined and uh, uh, hopefully it's just about to ask you that. I was just about what's yeah. the ETA, but I, I'm assuming Howie, but correct me if I'm wrong. It seems like this, the lithium developer, because that's why you quote in the press release, the lithium, I would assume the lithium has had the mobile unit. They've done testing, a lot of analysis. This is just dot the I's, cross the T's, basic due diligence. It's not, I would assume most of the heavy lifting is done. You guys just got to wrap this up in a definitive agreement now. I, I think that I think that's right? a fair, a fair, a fair assessment. We've done a lot of work with them on flows and technical stuff and feeds and this concentration and targets. And so we're pretty comfortable. There may be a little bit more that they need to have done um to 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 you know, just as you said, you know, cross the T's, dot the I's. Um, uh, and we're working with them. One of the things that 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 we've been able to uh, uh, do is work with them more broadly, so we know everything's coordinated together. Because it's it's a, it is a complicated process, and you know one step has to fit the next step. So we've done a lot of work with them on that on, on that point, um, uh, which has been educational for us and hopefully educational for them. So we we really see a good fit here, um, and we're really looking forward to completing the agreement, putting this equipment on a on a on a boat and um probably trading in a boat and getting it uh, to where it needs to go i know it's early the press release only been out a couple of weeks or so but um as the phone been ringing a little more people have seen this maybe the partners you've been talking to people under nda the, you've had under nda uh you know is are you, are you feeling the 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 doors open up a little bit I, I I think I think a few people have reached out to us and reconnected. Actually, it's been now that you mention it and looking back, yeah, we've had a few. But I think what it's Great. what it's done is it's it's the conversations that we do have, and these are very long sales cycles in terms of relationship building and understanding. And you know, this is as I mentioned previous times. You know, we're at the end of that process now, but. A lot of these, a lot of these ears are perking up and saying, "Hey, you know, Ford, we need we need to talk about our timelines and how we can move our project a little bit further down the line." And I think that certainly happened. And as I mentioned just a second ago, a few a few people have reached out and reconnected that that we were pretty excited to hear from. Well, the first sales cycle you said you mentioned it's a long sales cycle. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. I think the first sales cycle is really long because brand new technology <laughs> from your end. The lithium extraction companies are really just starting to come online now. To even there, yeah. for the most part, the, this big bulk of the, of the supply that's going to come on, that's all kind of starting up. But is it fair to say, Howie, that that sales cycle is actually going to contract uh, after this one, the next one, the one after that? Because then it just becomes you've got the data, well, you know what they are. And I it certainly, just moves I mean, faster, right? It, it's, it's, it, it logically makes sense. Um, and, 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 you know, I think that's a fair, a fair assumption that that will actually be true. Um, regardless, we've done such a, I think a really, I'm really pleased with the, the people who are doing this for us, you know, in at Ford, um, we've built a really great pipeline. So even if that's not true, I think the cadence of our pipeline that we have is going to keep us as, you know, uh, uh, as a viable company for quite a while, I think. I think the revenue that we are likely to generate from this first sale is, you know, I've after been through a couple of startups. I'd be very, I'm very mindful of my burn rate. Um, we will be able to use that revenue to to continue our operations for quite a substantial period of time. So I think we're in a really comfortable position. Uh, because you touched on that right there, Howie, I want to ask you, and I know you can't be super specific, but 
ballpark, what is the size of this deal? Because there are going to be a lot of people discovering Ford Water for the first time. So is this yeah. a you know $5,000 deal? Is this a $50 million deal? Just give us a so, range so, so people this is, know. This is, you know. this is first commercialization stage field demonstration equipment. So this isn't we're not we're not putzing around you know and and so it's 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 you know in some in some installations in some applications this would be full commercial so um we're looking at the 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 low very low seven figure sort of range right now um the, the interesting thing financially number. for us is because this was rto money and we built this equipment on speculation it's paid for so we're recouping dollars um, from this revenue that we'll be able to put into our bank account and keep there because you know there's there's no vendors to 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 to, to spend on uh, you know um, go back and pay um, so that all becomes money that we can use for ongoing commercialization efforts right uh, sales marketing sector presence um, teaching users how this would impact them and develop those clients that we've been developing over the uh, last year the other twenty nine if you will um as well as outside the other in the other sectors uh, and that we can use that money tactically to support those ongoing um uh, sales cycles yeah so, so much that money at the beginning was r d get the demo unit out there much it, it was engineering it was engineering scale up and development stuff right right like, now it'll be more or at yeah. least half of that will be more closing deals uh yeah. getting getting helping it get deals done which is feels as entrepreneurs i know how you're gonna find your just feels a lot better, right? When you're yeah, at that yeah, level, when you're yeah. at that stage, it's it, yeah. When you're talking deal, it's it's so much more exciting than uh, than than you know. Don't get me wrong; I got a technical background. I love cutting steel and seeing it welded oh, together course. and seeing equipment work. Right, like that. No, nothing gets me out of bed more than that, except getting the deal done. Um, yeah, so it's 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 an exciting place to be. It's an exciting place to be. Howie, congratulations, man. Look, you and I have been talking about this for well over a year about how, you know, you want to get the company to this stage and you've, you've hit it. It's not like you're hoping to have it a year ago. It, it was earlier. It was a few months, maybe a couple of quarters ago where I said, what are you thinking? You said, well, somewhere towards Q3, you know, around there, we should start with, with the way we should. And here it is, you know, you're in Q3 and you got this, uh, you got this, uh, by the way, it's a heads up agreement. To me, it just sounds like LOI. And well, you, well, so, so yeah, you know, I we use the term. You can look it up on an Investopedia, but heads of agreement. Um, it's really just getting down to the big, hairy, you know, items that you have to do. What are you going to buy? What's it going to do? How much is it going to cost? And you know, it's just just like buying a car. I, I this is the car that I want. It does what I need it to do. How much is it? Well, it's this much. Okay, I'm going to buy it. Now we're going to the back room and we're getting okay. You know. Who get your insurance in place? Where are the license plates coming from? Do I get extra tires? The you floor know, mats. Exactly. That's the stuff that we're going through now. Yeah. Give them some floor mats, Howie. Give them some I floor mats. I will gladly give them some floor mats. Absolutely. <laughs> give them some floor mats. If they Thanks buy the insurance and warranty. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I so really have to. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, that's no, a process ahead, that everybody can relate to. And that's just why I bring that up. It's that's what we're doing now. Right. And it's not that the car is not going to get sold. The car is going to get sold. Uh, it's just it, it's it's up to us to make sure that we finalize the details in a, in a cooperative way. And yeah, this client that we're working with is very open, um, uh, very, um, uh, very partnership driven. Right. So we're, we're pretty keen and I'm pretty confident that we'll get this to conclusion. Well, I think they're quite smart enough to realize they're going to need a few key partners in order to get this you know, lithium extraction is not you know making a pizza right yep. you don't need partners to make a pizza let's go get some pepperoni some cheese and, 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 let's no, get it and throw it out the door this is not at, at the end of the this is a, this is still a demonstration unit for them this is still to show that the, you know that their technology works at, at a reasonable scale if and when successful they're going to be looking at full scale plants right um and then and that boggles the mind which is wonderful <laughs> um so we look forward to continuing that partnership that development it it, it 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 you know it puts the responsibility on us to maintain that deliver what we said we were going to do because there's a huge prize at the end at the end of the road this isn't the end of the road this is just the beginning of the road for this particular partner well you've climbed them you're climbing the mountain you've gotten the first peak you're kind of and, plateauing uh, there to and there's another one 
<laughs> you got more, but so glad that you got to the first yeah. round peak high. Way to yeah. go, man. As a shareholder, I think it's about, I speak on behalf of everyone where I say, you really made us proud. This is awesome because not only do we have a, a great potential, you know, real great potential uh, growth company on our hands, but we're also doing something great for the world at the same time. So when you get that double, when you get that double bonus, there's nothing better, man. So sleep well at night. Up, buddy. Sleep well at night. That's for sure. Uh, to everyone at home, you've been watching or been listening to my podcast on Spotify, Google, Apple, your favorite podcast platform to Howie Honeyman. He's a CEO at Ford Water Technologies, trades in the stock symbol FWTC. For those of you who the story, that's going to be a lot of you because a lot of, we're going to be marketing this to all the lithium investors out there who have been following lithium companies saying, hey, here's a company that's going to be helping these lithium companies. So if you're discovering Ford Water for the first time, Get to their profile page on Agoracom to get a great layman's overview of the company first, and then head over to the company's website to do a real deep dive due diligence. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. See you next time. Hey, guys. The video's over, but don't forget to help your company by liking it and even leaving a comment below. And then don't forget to help yourself by subscribing to our YouTube channel so you never miss another great Agoracom small cap video.